Hi, this is Dave from notesandvolts.com, and if you follow my channel, you've seen me build up a lot of electronic projects from start to finish. My more advanced projects tend to use printed circuit boards, and I get a lot of questions about how I design them, what software I use, and how I get them manufactured. So in this series, we're going to take a look at my favorite circuit board design software, KiCad, and we're going to take a simple project from design to manufacture. First of all, I need to thank my sponsor, JLC PCB, for providing the circuit boards and making this video series possible. I use JLC PCB for all my circuit board needs, and they always come through with high quality boards, ship fast at a great price. So if you need circuit boards for your next project, make sure you check out JLCPCB.com. For a recent project, I had to design a circuit board to fit on the back of these push buttons that are definitely not designed for printed circuit board use. So in this series, we're going to design a very simple circuit board with custom footprints to fit this part. And hopefully by the end, you'll have enough confidence to tackle your own designs. The best thing about KiCad is it's free and open source, so go download it, get it installed, open it up, and let's get started. Alright, to start the process, we'll go to the File menu and go to New Project and select New Project. You'll get an Explorer window and just browse to where you want to save your project and select New Folder to create a folder. We'll name this folder the name of the project, which in this case is PCB Tutorial. Now enter the folder and pick a name for your project file. I'll use PCB Tutorial again. When the new project opens, it will contain two files. One is a printed circuit board file and one is a schematic file. We'll start with the schematic, so double click on the .sch file. And here's our blank schematic file ready to go. Now go to the right hand side menu and click on the place component tool. When you click on the empty schematic, you'll get a pop-up window that shows all the schematic symbols that are currently in KiCad. Scroll down to the switches group and click the plus symbol to expand it. Now select the symbol SW Push LED, which is a generic normally open button with a LED attached. Click on the schematic sheet to place the component. The thing to remember about KiCad is that the schematic symbol and the PC board footprint for that symbol are totally separate items. So this generic symbol can really describe any button with an LED. Now go back to the right hand menu and select the add power tool. We'll choose the plus 9 volt symbol to represent the positive terminal on our 9 volt battery. And then we'll select the GND symbol to represent the ground terminal. Now we'll go back to the Add Component tool and type the letter R in the filter box. The first thing that should pop up is a generic resistor, so we'll select that and add one of those. Next we'll align the components and connect them together. Select the arrow tool from the top of the right hand menu. This will allow you to click on each component and move it around. To move the part, Place the cursor over the part you want to move and press the M key on your keyboard. If you get a pop-up menu like this that tells you to clarify your selection, make sure you select the component. Now we'll move the plus 9 volt symbol down to touch the resistor. This will connect the two components together. We'll use wires to connect the rest of the symbols. Go to the green Add Wire tool and select it. Click on Terminal 1 of the switch and then drag it up and click on the resistor. Now connect Terminal 3 on the switch to ground. 
Now we'll connect terminal two on the switch to terminal four on the LED. The idea with this circuit is when you push the switch, it will allow current to flow through the resistor and light up the LED. Not too useful, but good for demonstration purposes. We're going to make four copies of this. So instead of doing this all again, just drag a box around the entire circuit and right click and select copy block. This will make a duplicate. Now I'll drag a box around both circuits and copy it again. This will save even more time. Now notice that all components have question marks beside the names. We need to give each component an individual name. So to do that, we're going to use the annotate schematic tool. Simply select the tool, click annotate and OK. Now notice that all the components have unique names. And that's it for the schematic. So now all we have to do is go up to the upper left hand corner and click save schematic project. Okay, so that's it for part one. In the next part, we're going to learn how to design a custom footprint for our circuit board. Make sure you follow Notes and Volts on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and I'll see you next time.